let us now continue our coordinate dimension option over here we have the dimension ordinates option select this after selecting the dimension ordinates option next you need to specify the origin that is for the finding out the dimensions of the coordinates you need to first select an origin i'm selecting the origin over here after selecting the origin you need to specify the positive direction of x in this way and now you have the zero value that is the origin to be placed and right now you can see that zero zero is being displayed over here you need to specify the length of the extension line i'm holding down my shift key and moving it in this way okay that is i'm moving my view after which i'll be placing the length of the extension line over here at this particular point and the point is fixed after which now you can select the points for which you want to find the ordinates select it over here and you get the 17.34 as the ordinate value select it over here you get it as 36.02 select it over here you get it in this way then left click anywhere and you'll be getting those values when you right click it accepts the given values in this way next you can also again specify this and this time i'll specify the origin over here and the direction i'm going in this way now you can see the length comes horizontally the length of the extension line comes horizontally let me place it over here and now after fixing the extension line's length you can click anywhere in the drawing so let me click over here and this is 8.2 let me click over here and this value is 17.52 in this value in this way i select it over here and this value is displayed over here as 30.21 right click to accept now after this i'll select my cursor and now in order to check these given values you can go with dimensioning it let me select this option and over here i'll dimension this this is 17.34 horizontally and that is what is being displayed over here again select it over here this time you want to find out the distance from here to here so if i select this i'll be getting it as 18.68 that is nothing but the length of this line only so in order to get it i'll choose this option dimension size with arrows first point the extension line over here and till this particular point that is nothing but your 36.02 the same values are being displayed so this option is nothing but your ordinates option the method is first you need to specify the origin let me choose the origin over here after which you need to specify the direction i am specifying the direction in this way and now you need to specify the ordinate value sorry the length of the extension line place it over here and now wherever you click that particular points distance will be displayed over here in this way right click to accept it that is nothing but your ordinate option let us go with undo remove all the coordinate values after this the next option which we have over here is the dimension angle size suppose you have a few lines over here in this way one horizontally and the other lines are inclined to it at particular angles in this way now you can select this option over here dimension angle size after which you're supposed to select the start of dimension this is the start of dimension then it is asking us to specify the length of the extension line i'll specify the length of the extension line over here and enter point on the axis say this now this dimension which you are getting over here is nothing but your angle you can see right now the value is being displayed up to four decimals so four digits after the decimal let me just go with right click and i'll change the setting over here shortcut to settings over here you have selected units setting it to 0.12 for this over here now after setting this go over here for degrees i need to select 0.12 as well okay right and now again let us go with the selection of this particular setting again from start will start 
Select this. Now it is asking you to select start of dimension. This is my start of dimension. Next, length of the extension line somewhere over here. Next, enter point on axis. This is the point on axis through which all the lines will be passing. Select this. And now select dimension end point. That is till where you want to find the dimension. Select it till here or till here and till here in this way. Right click to accept it. You can see the angle being given over here. The angle between a number of lines continuously as it moves along the angular direction. Along this particular direction. This is how you will be using the angular dimensioning option. Select a line like this. Now from here you have this line. You have this line. Select this option. First point over here. Length of the extension line over here. And then enter point on axis over here. And this is the end point of that particular line. This is the end point. Okay. This is how you will be dimensioning it in terms of the angle. Right. Again, similarly, we have the other option. And that is this option, dimension angle location. Over here, I'm selecting the start of dimension, then the length of the extension line and the point on the axis. And again, I'll specify this point. Now, after selecting this, when I go for the second option, the reference is being taken as the first line itself. As you keep on moving, the reference will remain as the first line itself. This particular almost horizontal line which you have, that will remain as the reference from where the angles are being measured. You can see this over here. This 37 is from here to here. Similarly, 80.25, you have it from the reference, the previous reference itself, till this line. In this way, you will be going with the angular dimensioning. Okay. The next option over here is dimension angle between. Let me draw two lines over here. I'm selecting one inclined line in this way and one inclined line in this way. After drawing two inclined lines, you have the dimension angle between option. Okay. Select this after which I'm selecting this line and this line between two lines, two inclined lines, you can directly get the angle in this way. That is your dimension angle between option. 98.7 degrees is over here. Select it and place it over here between these two. You get it in this way or you can move in this direction. You'll be getting it the outside angle. Included or excluded angle. Place it over here and this is how you'll be getting the angle. For the circles, we have seen how to use it. Suppose you have a circle over here, a circle over here. Now you can select this option. You can either go with diameter or radius, center mark, radius extended, all these options we have already seen. You can place it over here and give the particular value. The rest of the two options, that is chain dimension and mark dimension attributes. Let us see in the next session. For now, I'm stopping the session over here.